Hello everyone and welcome to Behind the Plays. I'm here with Jonathan Jimenez, center attacking midfielder for the Southeastern University men's soccer team. Jonathan, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me on the show. So first question, what got you into soccer? When did you start playing this wonderful sport? Um, first of all, what got me into soccer was, you know, just the household that I, I grew up in, my dad watching soccer 24-7, playing it. Uh, that really uh, inspired me to play the sport. Uh, especially at a young age. Uh, I started playing soccer when I was four years old at a recreational level. And then when I turned eight years old, uh, I started playing competitive soccer. Mm -hmm. So who has been one of your biggest inspirations playing soccer since you were four years old? Um, like I said, my, my dad, my parents, both of my parents, uh, especially now at a, at a collegiate level, my, my parents are my biggest inspiration because uh, they sacrificed so much for me, especially in club soccer. When I had to travel everywhere, you know, they had to pay for hotels, pay for the gas, you know. All the traveling, they sacrificed a lot of their time, uh, money, effort into into me, basically, and they're my biggest inspiration. And another inspiration for me is uh, my grandma. Unfortunately, she passed away when I was seven years old. Uh, up until then, she, she used to go to every single one of my games, even when she got sick, she used to go. Um, and I know right now she's watching over me every day, and uh, those are my biggest inspirations. Has there been anything that's happened to you, you know, either personally or on the soccer field that has kind of motivated you to keep going, even when times get tough? Uh, yeah, I had a I had an injury previous to the one I had this year. I had a I tore my ACL my junior year of high school, and I thought that was going to be it for me that I wasn't going to play soccer again. But then after I overcame that obstacle, you know, I I knew that um, I was stronger than when I thought I actually was, and I was able to get back on the field. And like you had just mentioned, last season, unfortunately, you had a season-ending injury towards the end when you know you guys were playing the tournament, making it to nationals. What kind of changed in your mindset as you were dealing with that? You know, athletes really deal with identity a lot of the time. How did that help you kind of find your identity, not so much with soccer, but through God? Um, yeah, that a second knee injury, you know, is never is never a fun thing to go through, especially at a time where where I got the injury in a semifinal in the conference tournament. Um, it was a very hard thing for me to deal with mentally and emotionally, but um, that that just really opened my eyes to realize that you know I'm not gonna have this sport forever. I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna be able to play soccer as much as I'd want to, but I know that God's gonna always be there. You know He's gonna be by my side through everything, uh, the ups, the downs, and uh, I just found my identity through Him rather than the sport because um, I knew one day it's gonna be taken away from me. Mm -hmm. So soccer teaches you a lot physically and mentally. You know you're playing a game that requires you know thinking on your toes and then just moving quickly. How has that kind of helped translate? into you know your personal life or your regular life uh, a lot of things uh, soccer teaches you you know especially for me uh, soccer has taught me discipline you have to be disciplined on and off the field for you to be able to play especially here in college um, uh, for me another thing was responsibility uh, being respectful respectful of the teammates respectful of the opponents and in life you have to be respectful of your elderly you know be respectful of everybody who's around you uh, treat them the way you want to be treated, you know, and soccer has really taught me all of those things. Do you see yourself playing soccer in the future, you know, after you graduate from here? Yeah, yeah. Um, my dream since I was a little boy was to play professional soccer, and that's what I'm pursuing and working towards. Mm -hmm. If you had to play for one team right now, who would you pick? Uh, Barcelona, no doubt, you know, the best team in the world. Mm -hmm. Easily. So, there are kids out there, you know, struggling to make it to college soccer, you know, struggling to get out of their environment that they're in. What would you say to a young struggling athlete who is looking to pursue a career in college? Um, never, never lose sight of the big picture, you know, never lose sight of their dreams because it's never too late to reach what you want and to always work, work hard um, and do what you have to do to get where you want to be. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Jonathan, for being with us today. Catch us next week with Behind the Plays.